How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. We've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an Archdemon. And you have questions? I need to know how Archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the Blighted Dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question, if you answer mine. What? How are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? We've been through this already. You agreed to help me. What did you think my help would look like, Rook? I need to know that you are prepared. No. The First Warden still refuses to listen. As I feared. I tried diplomacy, I tried being firm. Nothing worked. When I asked why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you said that nobody else was doing it. That sufficed for me. But you will need more to convince the Grey Wardens. They see themselves as destined to lead this battle. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side? I don't have to convince all of them. I just have to convince the First Warden. Or remove him. Enjoyable as that is to imagine, I doubt the rest of the Wardens would approve. Did you know the Evanurus once numbered many more than those whose names survive in the Elven Pantheon? One warlord was particularly cruel. I sought to free his slaves, but so fearsome was his reputation that none would join me. What did you do? I made people laugh at him. How did that help? For twelve years. Every sound near him, from whispered pleas to shouted oaths to crackling fire, all became mocking laughter. His mind broke under the ridicule, and when he fell, his slaves rose up and joined me. I doubt laughter is going to work on the First Warden. If not that, then what? Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes. The old gods of Tevinter, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinter gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanuris. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanuris as both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanuris until their Dragon Thrall is slain. The old stories of the Tevinter gods have them whispering in the dreams of ancient Magisters. How did they do that if they were just tools of the Elven Gods? The Archdemons were once High Dragons. The Evanuris bound them as a source of power. When I imprisoned the Gods, their dragons remained free. That was my mistake. How so? I never bound a dragon to myself, for I believed that to enslave another creature was immoral. As such, I did not understand the power that connection gave. I thought the prison I had made was perfect. But their dragons were the conduit through which they spoke to dreaming minds. What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganan is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Nathor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves, with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego, the epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. What about Gilanane and her dragon? Pride and ego can blind someone. We can exploit that. By contrast, Gilanane was a servant of Andrew, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant. Ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. 
In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. Any other surprises we should know about? Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered. It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. All right. Kill the archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. You will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared. <laughs>